it's just another world. It's rich in culture. The people are phenomenal. And what better way to open a movie that has a bunch of cars <laughs> and a bunch of action sequences with cars than Cuba? Because you have all these classic American cars. And um, we open the movie with an amazing race in Cuba with American cars, American muscle. It's the perfect place, not only for the story, but just as a backdrop to open Fast 8, and I loved it. In the beginning, I decided I have to do my homework with this franchise because in order to do eight and make it unique, but make it satisfying, I had to do a little bit of homework, which means a lot of homework. So what I did was I wanted to figure out what the fans loved about this franchise and what they missed, if there was anything they missed. And I said, you know what? What I keep hearing is just going back to the basics, car racing, car racing, just racing for pink slips. And this is something they did quite a bit in the beginning. And that's why I opened the movie in Cuba. It's just a pure American muscle cars, pure racing for pink slips, and that's it. It's not a whole bunch of fancy stuff going on that comes later, but just giving the fans exactly what they want is the concept behind Cuba. And we did it. And I think people will love it. One of the more dynamic moments in the movie is the prison fight sequence. And that is where Jason Statham, his character, Deckard Shaw, is fighting his way to get out of the prison. And Hobbs, played by Dwayne Johnson, of course, is fighting to keep this guy in prison. They're both prisoners, but they're fighting for different reasons, and that's what makes it really dynamic. And what I love about it is that it's two different fighting styles. Jason Statham has this kind of cool martial arts parkour style with Dwayne, the rock who comes in, Hobbs, he's just uh, I just, just crushing everything, everything like just buildings. He's he has he, there's no finesse, no style. He's just knocking dudes out, and I love the contrast, um, not only in their motivations, but their contrast, the contrast in their styles of fighting. Iceland was the biggest contrast to Cuba. You know, I, I looked at it as fire and ice. You had summer in Cuba, and you had winter in Iceland. And I wanted that to feel so different. And to be able to shoot um, a car action sequence, a chase and a race on ice, um, it is just logistically um, pretty insane. You know, to have a Lamborghini on ice, a tank, um, Hobbs vehicle, all of these vehicles weren't necessarily made to go 200 miles an hour on ice, but, the team did a great job at engineering, figuring out, delivering these vehicles, not only to, um, just for the characters, but for these action sequences. This was the first time a Lamborghini had ever been placed in the country of Iceland. And um, I'm glad I was the first to do it. An atomic orange Lamborghini in Iceland on the ice. That visual alone was worth doing that sequence. But when you see it, the one thing I wanted to do is just um, give the audience something they've never seen before. And you'll see a performance like no other from Vin Diesel. This is something that he's never done before. He's never had to sit in this emotional pocket as Dom. And so I took a, um, a really specific approach to make sure that we were honest about his reactions, about his reaction to the story, his reaction to the team, and his performance just overall. And I think he did an amazing job. I thought that Michelle did an amazing job. She's not used to being in this space where Dom is um, going up against her. This is something a little different as well. I think for the loyal fans, you're going to see a story that is thoughtful and thinks about you because we're going to give you the action that you want. We're going to go back to the basics. We're going to show you some new stuff. We're going to give you some new characters, but we're going to all bring it together in a thoughtful way. 
And we do that because we care about you and we care about what you think. 